Hey everybody, Cameron here. Thank you for tuning in to my channel today. This is the walk around video of my 1974 Crestliner Muskie 15 runabout. There will be many videos uh, on this boat, uh, on this channel, but this is just the walk around. So, anyways, without any further ado, uh, we'll kind of get into the video here. The motor, it's got a 1978 70 horsepower Mercury on it and it runs really great uh, right from the day of purchase actually I haven't done anything to the motor um, paint looks really nice on it still so you can see the skag and the prop there all in really good shape purrs like a kitten uh, this motor uh, doesn't come with any uh, kind of trim on it it's a manual lift and I know what probably some of you are thinking oh that's got to be all heavy and all that but it really isn't. There are a lot of boats of this vintage uh, made like that where you got to manually lift the motor and it's really not that bad. There's a little handle right up there on top in the back. All you got to do is like pull that forward and uh, it just lifts right out of the water. So. so that's the stern. This boat is uh, six feet wide and technically 6.3 wide. Uh, that's the beam. And then the length is 15.33, or just over 15 feet long. Seems longer when you're inside of it. It's on a 1971 teeny trailer, built back in 71 in Youngstown, Ohio. The boat itself was uh, uh, made in uh, Little Falls, Minnesota, back in 74. Like I said, there was a period of about 10 years that Crestliner made these, uh, made these uh, boats. Really solid hull. Nice transom. There's no cracks or anything on the boat. It's all just uh, really solid. Very few scratches. Just got that white hue though that uh, fiberglass gets on it. Still got a bright yellow stripe on there, but that's going to be redone too. So. Okay, let's go around this way for you. Okay, said it's on a 71 teeny trailer, single axle. I'm gonna change out those tires and rims. I'm gonna get the white ones on there and brand new tires, but the uh, hardware it came with here is obviously in good shape, tires and stuff. The trailer just has a little surface rust on it here. That's all going to be sanded off and repainted. The trailer uh, has only rollers on it. There are no slides. It's only rollers. It's got some nice features on it. It's got that stand. It's got a brand new uh, hookup over there. See it there? Brand new one. Spare tire holder. And it came uh, equipped with all the, uh, the hooks for the uh, tarps and stuff. It's got great lighting on it. It's got the submersible taillights on it. <clears throat> this boat weighs 825 pounds and can hold uh, max capacity of 1,710 pounds. And that's what the motor and the gas and gear and people and everything. It's a tri-haul. It's the very first tri-haul I've ever owned. It's got the deep V in the middle. It's got the two pontoons on either side, but really clean hull. Let's see if we can get in here and show you. Really solid, really clean hull. You can see there in the sun how clean and shiny it is, and I haven't even started to clean it up. <laughs> Really nice, clean little boat. You can have a lot of fun with this. <clears throat> I tried uh, just some polish here. I don't know if you guys can see in the light uh, provided here. But anyway, just tried to clean some of that uh, 
white uh, hue off of there and it comes off really easy. I got some polish and I just put it on like a three inch strip here. I don't know if you can really see it but it's gonna clean up really really nice. Nice and easy. All the moldings and everything are in excellent shape. Hardware. Really solid back here. I've already started doing just a little bit of work on this. I got these bored out of here. The other ones were just really nasty and mangled up and stuff like that. See how nice that hall looks? It's gonna be so nice when it gets all cleaned up. Nice solid trailer. It's got the nice uh, guides on it here, trailer guides. It's really nice when you're trying to crank her into to the trailer on a windy day. Don't have to worry about the the boat too much with those on there. So, but anyway, that's my 1974 Musky 15 runabout thank you for watching everybody and feel free to comment i always answer comments so and feel free to check out all the other videos on here not just of this boat but all the other videos so thanks again everyone for watching